quick video here on how I store my ammunition. Um, I know there's a ton of videos out there. Um, everybody kind of has their own way. Um, this is how I do it. This fits for me. So I was just going to kind of show you guys how I did it in case you were looking for any ideas. So um, down here, this is actually my basement. Um, I actually keep the ammo that I'm going to store for long term, I guess, that I'm not going to shoot for a while. The stuff that I take to the range and I know that I'm going to shoot um, pretty soon, I keep upstairs with uh, everything else. So, but this is kind of more long term storage. So um, I actually built this shelf just for this ammo, um, specifically to fit these ammo cans. Um, I have a separate video on the shelf itself. I'll post a link down if you want to check that out. But um, this is more of how I actually store the ammo. So um, as you can see, I do store my ammo in ammo cans. Um, kind of have a variety of the plastic and the steel. I tend to go with the metal for the actual ammo itself and then some of the plastic ones I have some miscellaneous stuff um, I know a couple of those I have some magazines in there and I'll show you those as well but um, for the most part, part I store most of the actual ammo in the metal 50 caliber ammo cans so we'll get a close-up look here so this is just a close-up look starting on the top shelf um, I have everything marked on the outside um, basically this one right here is um, some AR magazines um, I'll show you that here in a minute, but yeah, I do have this little dinky lock on here. It's not perfect, but it's an extra step. It helps. Um, this one in here is actually where I do store my 9mm ammunition um, in one of those plastic ones. And then those are just some miscellaneous stuff. I don't, I don't even know if anything's in those. But down here is, um, I try and keep an ammo cam for each caliber. So you'll see in this one I have my 380. I have one for the 45, uh, 762 by 39, and then the 223556. Coming on down here, I have a separate one. Um, this actual this whole shelf is actually 22 long rifle, so um, those ammo cans are full. And then I got a couple of those um, buckets back there that are unsealed. Um, and then down here, um, I have some Mosin Mosin rounds here. 762 by 54 um, I actually had two of these spam cams I actually opened up one and then put the uh, leftover rounds in there and then this one is unsealed and then that big guy is actually empty and so is that one I don't have anything in there but then I keep my shotgun rounds in there so so we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you how I store um, kind of my magazines um, I do keep magazines upstairs, but I have extra on hand just in case. Um, so I'll show you how I store these. Alright, so these are pretty cool. These are, these are a lot, um, hold a little bit more and um, a lot lighter weight than the metal one so you'll see in here I just have a bunch of spare AR mags uh, got the steel metal ones and a bunch of plastic ones that I've that I bought on kind of in bulk that were on discount so these I don't really use so I just kind of store these away um, as spares so um, same thing in here I believe there's some AK mags in there as well um, in here I'm not going to open it because it's Kind of heavy to get down but that thing is loaded with nine miller nine millimeter um rounds and then we'll go ahead and open up uh one of these here take it down all right so here's an example of the uh, 50 caliber can here i uh with the 223556 uh, open it up and I do keep all the ammo in the original box. Um, that way, one, I know what it is because I do have a mixture of stuff. So you'll see I have a 5.56 five, green tip and then just your regular 223 stuff and then tracers in there. So that way it kind of keeps it separate. I know what it is. And if I just need to grab you know, a certain box, I can. And then it also helps keep me keeping the grease from your hands off the actual rounds themselves just to kind of protect them from corroding and everything. So um, I do just keep it in the original boxes and just stack it in the ammo can 
and then I take those silica packages um, and throw a couple in here the really cheap ones so and then every so often when I come to add or take some ammo out I'll replace those packets to help absorb the oxygen in there so um, you'll see I just I just stack these full with as many boxes as will fit in there throw a couple of the gel packets in there and then um, sealed up and you're good to go I um, just want to keep an eye on the seal um, around here just to make sure that's in good shape um, just throw a little bit of oil on there if, if it starts to crack or anything like that but um, see so yeah, I just keep those in there lock it up and it'll stay nice and sealed uh, for long-term storage here's another box um, this has the 45 ACP um, you see I don't have as much because this stuff is expensive and I actually just bought uh, my first 45 so um, I don't have as much ammo um, in here but what I do have, I just kind of stack in here and uh, close it up and put a couple packets in there. And then as I get some more ammo, I'll throw it in there or as I take it out, um, to shoot at the range, I'll just swap it out. But um, as long as you keep it in there with those packets, um, it'll stay nice and, and watertight for you and everything. So, All right, so here's a quick look at my three cans of 22. Um, like I said, those... Um, two buckets right there are sealed so I'm gonna I don't need to keep those in the can since they're already in the sealed container but these uh the the 22 I keep the boxes in here um just to kind of help protect the rounds especially the um with the 22 with a lot with the lead nose those um have a lot more tendency to oxidize and everything so to kind of help prevent that I just keep them in the in the can with an oxygen absorbers to kind of prevent that but we'll see I just I just I just stack the boxes in here as I as I get the ammo um, yes I do shoot this ammo I don't hoard it or anything like that but um, when I see it I buy it and then that way I have it for when I do want to shoot it but uh, I do um, store it in here for until I do need it so um, like I said I do have some of the stuff is just, it's just a mixture so that's why I do keep it in the boxes because um, some of the stuff is copper plated, some of it's lead nose, um, and then that way to keep it from getting mixed up and all that, I just keep it in the original boxes um, as far as that goes. But yeah, I just I just stack as many boxes as as it will hold, throw in the um, packets for the oxygen absorber, and then throw them on the shelf. So, and then that should keeping it down here in the environment. Um, where it's cool and dry should hopefully keep the, the lead from oxidizing um, if it does it's not a big deal you should clean it off it's just a pain in the butt but this should help prevent that so I just want to kind of give you guys uh, show you how I how I store this stuff in the ammo cans themselves and here's just a quick look at the plastic ammo can um, I actually store my shotgun ammo in this um, and then my nine millimeter um, up there but that one's kind of heavy to move around so um, this one's not so much so does the same job as those guys um, just a little bit more room uh, to store stuff so if you got um, some stuff to throw in here that's not going to weigh it down a ton this will work just fine like I said once you if you load this thing packed full of um, ammo it does feel like um, to me it's going to break so um, that's why I prefer the uh, metal cans, but there's not a whole. I don't have a whole lot of shotgun ammo, and it's not heavy to begin with, so this works just as well. I believe it's about the same price point as well. So um, on this, you do still have to worry about that little gasket right there uh, about cracking, but that's not a big deal. So um, these are watertight too, and they are stackable as well. So just another option for you if you'd rather go that route um, and then there's all sorts of different ammo cans this is a gigantic um, ammo can I picked out picked up at a gun show don't have anything in there yet um, this is another one picked up at a gun show again it's empty um, right now but uh, so yeah that's basically just how I store my ammo for kind of a more of a long-term use so 
Um, there's a separate video on this on this shelf. I keep it on. It's a very sturdy shelf. Um, as you can see, it's got like three quarter inch plywood for the shelf itself. Ton of screws and two by fours and support in the middle for the weight. So um, works for me. I built it to uh, fit the ammo cans four in a row and everything like that. So pretty neat idea. You can build one of these to suit yourself. If you want to build one higher, if you want to build it wider or longer, you can. So check out that video. I, I'll have a linked in here as well if you want to check that out. So just another idea. So uh, like I said, I know there's tons of videos out there. I just wanted to kind of give my take on how I did it. Um, so like I said, store it in the basement. As long as you store it in a cool, dry environment and not a whole lot of temperature change, the stuff will last you, last you forever no matter how you, how you do it. So um, if you have any questions, comments, or any ideas, feel free to let me know down in that comments, comment section. Thanks for watching.